Inspector Gadget here, practicing my roping and riding as I prepare for my next case. And that is to investigate who the dudes at the Dude Ranch really are. So saddle up, partners. It's time for our field trip to the home where the buffalo roam. Which is probably a home full of dirt. No, no, Gadget Horse. and mosing on down to the Gene Autry Museum in Los Angeles, California. That's where the best of the West lives on. Looks like a cow-proof vest on this cowboy. Oh, it's a conquistador, the distant relative of today's cowboy. During the 1500s, the Spanish conquistadors, or conquerors, left their homeland in search of gold. They traveled through South America, stopped in Mexico, made a sharp left turn, and rode slowly into the sunset of the American Southwest without stopping to fill up. The conquistadors brought America's first horses and herds of cattle all the way from Spain to America. Even the horses wore suits of armor. But their cows drew the line at metal suits. They wouldn't even wear metal shoes. The conquistadors passed on their roping, riding, and herding skills to their relatives in Mexico called vaqueros. In fact, vaca is Spanish for cow. So vaquero means cowboy. When the vaqueros crossed into U.S. territory, they became the first genuine U.S. cowboys. In the 1800s, equipped with his trusty horse and his rusty, uh, trusty six-shooter revolver, the American cowboy galloped into American history. That's why history is full of hoof prints. The most famous of these cowboys was a roping, riding man named Buffalo Bill. He and his horse had a hair-growing contest. Bill won the hair contest. He made a wild, wild west show out of the cowboy life. The only problem was the horses kept getting on stage and trampling the footlights. Buffalo Bill's mother did not name him Buffalo. His real name was William Cody, and they named a city after him. No, not Buffalo, New York, Cody, Wyoming. Who would want to live in a city named Bill? Probably billions. <laughs> Little unit there. Everything you'd want to know about him and more is here at the Buffalo Bill Historical Society in Cody, Wyoming. It's hard to find. You have to look for the building with the long mustache and beard disguise. Buffalo Bill hunted buffalo, drove wagon trains, and was a brave army scout. And those were just his day jobs. What Buffalo Bill is really famous for is his Wild Wild West show. It was the granddaddy of old Rodale's, a rootin', tootin', shootin' show about the American West. Hundreds of vaqueros, cowboys, and Native Americans rode cattle, rode bucking broncos, and showed off their sharpshooting skills in this Wild West bonanza. Look at that. Some of the cowboys were Indians. Here's Buffalo Bill himself opening the show in a rare movie from 1902. Wowzers! Whoa! And slow down, nice horsey! Whoa! That's Buffalo Bill and Chief Iron Tail speaking in sign language. They had to, to keep secrets from the buffaloes. Buffalo Bill finally met his match when he met America's sharpest shooters. That's a sharpshooter in a dress. Annie Oakley was the best gunshot in the West, or anywhere else. She could shoot straight, backwards, over her shoulder, even looking into a mirror. Here she is at her last exhibition. Adios, Annie. Adios, Bill. And here's an Inspector Gadget field trip quiz. A buckaroo is A, a cowboy riding a kangaroo, B, early western bubblegum, C, a young boy who helped the Spanish vaqueros round up the bucking horses. We'll have the answer when we return. Stay tuned.